Parshat Bamidbar describes how the Jewish people were put into special camps and they were prepared for their trek. They had been at Mount Sinai for almost a year and now they would be gathered up into four different camps with three tribes per camp. And you had the Levi'im who were carrying the Mishkan, the portable tabernacle, and they would be marching now to Eretz Israel, to the land of Israel. And our commentators ask, why is it that the Jewish people spent a full year at Mount Sinai? They arrived there on Rosh Chodesh Sivan, and they only left the following year on the 20th of Iyar. So it was 10 days short of a full year. Why were they there? Yes, there was the giving of the Torah that happened in Sivan. There was the whole tragedy of the, the golden calf and the, the aftermath of that. But why were they there for a full year? What was the point? And they explain as follows. We who live now, we have a long history of being raised as Jews. As it were, we, we can see what goes on in the Jewish street. We can go to a Jewish school, we can go to a shul, to a yeshiva, to a store that sells kosher things. We're used to it. It's in our blood, it's in our bones. But for the Jewish people of that generation, it wasn't. Everything was absolutely new, pristine, new and, and foreign and strange. They left Egypt, they had no mitzvot other than really circumcising themselves. And now they come to Mount Sinai and they are presented with literally hundreds of mitzvot commandments. Things that they had never imagined or thought of. They had to get used to it. They had to get used to a new life of putting on tefillin, of wearing tzitzit, of keeping Shabbat, of sitting in a sukkah, of the mitzvot that one does between oneself and one's fellow man, how to conduct a marriage, who you can marry, who you can't marry, what type of food do we eat, how do we speak, many, many different laws. It was all new to them. And therefore they needed a period of time in which the Torah would become part of them. It, they would get used to it. It would literally pierce and go into their bones and become integrated. And it's not unlike the, the law that the Torah tells us in the book of Devarim, that when a couple first marry, they should be together shana echad. They should be together for that first year, shana rishona. The husband shouldn't go off to work, to the army. They should be together. Because that's really such a seminal, important, foundational time, that first year, to really get to know one another. So that thereafter, if necessary, the husband can travel abroad, etc. He can leave his wife for a while, but it's already become part of himself, this relationship with his wife. So to the Jewish people. They had a time, they had an opportunity. And my Rosh Yeshiva, blessed memory, would quote his Rosh Yeshiva, his teachers who would say, that's very similar to what happens in a Yeshiva, where a young man or a woman who goes to seminary goes, and for a certain amount of time, it could be a year, two years, five years, ten years, however long it may be, they are cut off from the rest of the world, and they're just learning to us, so that it becomes part of them, in their bones. And then later on, they can go out and confront the world, knowing that they have the Torah and Judaism within themselves. I wish you all a Shabbat Shalom.